Well, greetings everyone, I am OG, as many of you know, and welcome back to OnlyCraft. Yes, this is OnlyCraft, the place where we craft it, do all that fun stuff. But yes, we're jumping from tree to tree here because, well, street parkour is always fun in many cases, I believe. But yes, here is our excellent world so far. You know, it's slowly coming along together and it's, it's quite nice so far. And this is part 40, guys. It's kind of hard to believe this is part 40 already. And uh, this requires a bit of a celebration. So this is going to be an extra long part. Um, I cannot believe it's 40 parts already into the series. Uh, I don't even know. Where the time has gone, it's been absolutely crazy. The journey has been absolutely amazing so far, right, sheep? You're just gonna stick your head in leaves and stuff. All right, cool. But yes, I was kind of, as you can tell, it's a sapling there. I was getting quite a bit of wood from over here. I accumulated quite a bit, I would say. So, because we're gonna be doing a lot of building, we're working on some of the builds that we had in the, you know, previous parts, like the the dock. We're gonna work on that a little bit. Because it's something that needs to be done, and I kind of want to get back up to level 40 again. But we also need to. Uh, Work on our brewing stuff. Our potions work on that because, uh, well, actually, I need to go ahead and get some more. Whoa, cows, chill. You're freaking mooing all crazy and such. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get some sugar cane here. But, yeah, we need to work on brewing up a rightful potion to cure a zombie villager when we find him. Now, apparently, I didn't realize how rare zombie villagers actually are. I think they only have a 5% chance of spawning um, over regular zombies. So, yeah, I seen we've seen, like, two of them in some of the previous parts just recently. Recently, and I did not realize how you know rare they were and now it kind of I feel like I'm not gonna find another one ever again now we did see one off in a cave over there perhaps he's still there that would be really convenient to us if we could cure him but uh, luckily we have almost all the required materials to save a zombie villager and then once we save one we will be able to get trades and stuff like that I just don't know how we're gonna manage to get the villager back over here if we cure him somewhere far away so that's gonna be a bit of an issue I would say so maybe we need to lure the zombie villager over to like here then when we get him over here cure him and then try to put him in maximum containment so the villager doesn't end up wandering off but as long as there's like a house for him I think he will be fine so we may make a little house for the villager whenever he gets over here or we get one hopefully you know it, it doesn't prove to be too tedious of a task but uh yeah i i we're gonna need uh, a potion of weakness and a go napple to heal one of those guys i do believe now i don't know if it's the same on console as it as it is on pc uh but i'm pretty sure it is so let's see what hunter and spooky are doing they're just kind of chilling relaxing in their little crib here um like i said i thought about possibly making a second story because we have such a high roof here they could definitely have like an attic for them you know for them to chill in, I guess, and put a little bed up there for them or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we definitely need to work on making their crib or area a little bit better. Who knows? But, yeah, we got to do a sign of the video before I forget. Oh, I got to go put these sugar canes back in the chest. Um, I ha Did I get a whole stack? Yeah, I got a whole stack of 64 and then some. So, that's absolutely amazing. Just got to make sure the sugar cane farm is dealt with from time to time. Because, if you guys recall, this is how we get books. You know, you make paper and then you, make, you get leather and make the books. And then you make the book shelves, which... Yeah, it's a long process and it's pretty tedious to do, and I will show you guys an update on the enchantment room. As you can tell, we don't have much popping in here right now. Uh, we still got quite a bit of books to obtain and add in here. Once we finally get all the books, we will start enchanting and using our, like, 38 levels, which... Watch this be like level 50. Oh, I need to eat real quick. Okay, but yeah, watch this be like level 50 by the time we get to finally enchant something, which will be good because we're almost have like two level 30 enchantments, which I will be insanely happy with, and I will give it a five out of five go star. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Mr. Guardian, hey, that's uh, what are you doing? You're looking at stone, bro. I I don't quite understand your motive there, but hey, I'm not gonna judge you for anything you do. So uh, yeah, I gotta get the sign out and catch just one sign for one special person. So um. Uh, Let's pull it up here, make sure I have this right, go ahead and put the sign there, get this all popped up. Now, the person that's going to be featured on the wall today is Aaron Mendoza, I do believe is your name. Hopefully, I didn't say that wrong. Um, I always worry about saying someone's name wrong. And it, oh, no, what the heck was that, bro? That was wrong. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to put Aaron down like so, boom, and... Bang. So, uh, yeah, if you're wondering how to get featured on here, this is mainly people that just leave constant awesome support. And uh, perhaps, you know, sometimes people make really cool stuff revolving around the series. Uh, some people in the past have submitted fan art or something like that. And it's just absolutely nice to interact with you guys a little bit more. And I almost spelled his name wrong. I bet he's watching right now. Like, oh, and gee, I'll kill you. <laughs> so, uh, here we are. We'll put this down like so. 
Aaron Mendoza, congratulations for getting on the wall. But, uh, yeah, this is absolutely amazing to have you guys on the wall. This is a great way to interact with you guys. And uh, you guys have, pro you know, whoever gets added to the wall is a part of OnlyCraft for good and forever. So it's pretty amazing. Um, we got some pretty interesting people on here, like Atomic Fish, Emike, MJ. I mean, what? This is amazing. So, uh, yeah, let's, without further ado, though. Oh, come on. I don't want to freaking push you down in the mine shaft, which we may go check around in the mine shaft just a little bit because I got to make sure everything is okay down here. We don't need no mobs looking about. Uh, because, freak, I love how there's like a little vine there, you just walk through the vine, you're just like, mm, I'm in a new dimension, but actually we're not in a new dimension, it's pretty much just a mineshaft, which, uh, you know, I figured I would've, you know, been in this mineshaft a lot more, but actually, I don't use it as much as I thought, don't I even have some stuff in my chest here? <laughs> I have three pieces of redstone, is that it? Why, why did I just leave three pieces of redstone down in that chest? That makes no sense whatsoever, that's just absolutely astonishing in its own way, but, okay, back on track with what we were doing. Um, before we get to the sign, I think we were gonna focus on brewing and getting some potions. Oh, freaking, uh, let me get up here, man. Okay, thank you. Is it dark now, perhaps? No, it's good. We got plenty of daylight now. I don't want to be, you know, I go into my brewing room, and since I don't have no sign, no windows or anything. Oh, I also added a little bit of improvement. I finished the roofing here, and I really like how this turned out. It just really adds a nice environmental feel to the place. And, uh, we still gotta make another anvil for this right here, just to kinda... Oh, no, my anvil is cracked! Oh, that ain't good! Okay, well, this is bad. Um, I guess that's what, you know, if we use the anvil over time, it's going to eventually get damaged and become a damaged anvil. And I think there's three stages to an anvil. You got a regular one, then a uh, damaged, and then, like, a, a one that's, like, pretty much almost broken. So, uh, I don't know. It's kind of confusing how that works. I'm not too well in tune with freaking anvils. Oh, my God. Look at the nether wart. This is absolutely amazing. Do I got any wood real quick? Let's go ahead and make a chest in this room here for the nether wart uh, room just to go ahead and... Uh, put all of our nether wart now. Now I do have some uh, ingredients there, so we're going to put our nether wart in there. This is going to be the nether wart chest. I cannot believe how much nether wart we have already. This stuff grows quite fast. Uh, that's pretty convenient, I suppose. So let's go ahead and get a little bit there, and uh, we're not going to have to worry about potions, that's for sure. So let me go ahead and put all this down. And uh, we kind of already have some potions brewed up over there, so uh, we're going to try to make the potions of weakness here very soon. So, oh, I thought I had a door there, but I don't. Okay, so what do I have here? I just have awkward potions so i need to take my nether ward out that it did not use and go store these in the chest right here like so boom very uh, clever and such i do suppose what's in this chest all right, i'm just curious i got all these chests around i kind of don't know what's in them because i don't have no organization system perhaps i should use the item frame uh, glitch to kind of you know put something in front of the chest and know what's in it uh, it could be quite beneficial to me but yeah we got to go get rotten flesh the reason why we got to get rotten flesh is because well, uh, we're gonna eat it. No, no, of course, no. Why would we eat rotten flesh, bro? That's just absolutely dis disgusting. Okay, so, uh, boom, boom. We need, like, two of those, I think. And some gunpowder, because gunpowder... What does gunpowder do again? Hmm. Gunpowder makes the potion splash, I do believe. Oh, it is it's gonna begin dark very soon, isn't it? Uh, it's just very nice seeing freaking... Oh, this is so cool. I mean, the nether shack, that was absolutely crazy. And I do believe there's some wolves, like, right somewhere there's always some wolves are right here for some reason i don't know what happened to him but yeah absolutely crazy there's a freaking pig there gotta work on that dog oh there's so much to do so little time but we're gonna we're gonna slowly get around to it so rebel i, I didn't even see you there buddy uh, you're always <laughs> that's his spot yeah, he's definitely where he stays so we can only sleep at night so we're gonna sit here and look at the cows um and look at this nice little see i got to looking at this and i really need to add more nice exterior design around the house um, and I think this, uh, we might get some bone meal and go around and make, put some more, uh, gr grass around. Why? <laughs> okay, tell me why there is a sheep with the freaking cows. I don't understand how these animals get in these fences that are, uh, I don't, I think it's probably because I had the barn foundation and he jumped over the fence. Like, why? I, why? <laughs> why, do you, why do you animals be doing this? But, all right, back to what we were doing, though. I'm pretty sure gunpowder makes the, uh, potion splash. I really hope so. Uh, come on, let me get this and um, put one rotten flesh in there. Oh, I can't do that? Why not? I cannot put rotten flesh. What? I could have sworn rotten flesh is what is needed to uh, make a potion of weakness. What is this nonsense? Is it because I put the nether ward in? Could be. Maybe nether war isn't the required ingredient. Wow, I must just have noobed up absolutely immensely right there. Let me uh, pull up a little bit. Yes, I'm pretty sure you need nether war for an awkward potion. 
Hey. What is this? Actually, no! That doesn't add up at all because... Okay, now we get a splash. Oh, okay, so gunpowder does make it splash. We confirm that fact, but... Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of make something that will benefit me from this, and that is... Bang, we're gonna make a potion of strength, I do believe is what this makes. So, yeah, this is kind of shocking to me because I absolutely forgot. Apparently, you don't even have to use nether wart as a prime first ingredient to making uh, one of these potions. So, we're gonna go pour this water out, um, if we can do that. Hopefully, we can. I don't know how you can get... Can you... No, oh, I just drank it. Okay. There we go. It's gonna have an awkward effect on me, probably. But, yeah, let's go get some more water. We only need two of these because I only have two... Um, I think we only need two for the most part. I'm just going to make two for the walls, I guess. But, yeah, all you need is rotten flesh for this. So, yeah, all you have to do is put the rotten flesh, and it makes instantly makes a potion of weakness. I guess that's just how that works. And the potion of weakness should be equivalent to time span of 1 minute and 30 seconds. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get this back. We have a nice potion of strength there that lasts 2 minutes and uh, 15 seconds. Absolutely brilliant. So, really, what is going on here? I'm not quite sure why I can't make a potion of weakness. Huh. Is this really happening to me right now? I... What happens if I... Okay. This is an experimentation part, guys. I'm trying to figure out how to make a potion of weakness on console. And apparently it's proven to be... Why does a... Just... Okay, can I do that? Okay, I can do that. Now, I think putting a glowstone dust makes it like a, a, a more upgraded potion perhaps then it will allow me to make a potion of weakness i don't quite know what the dilemma and deal is here uh but it's definitely proven to be a little bit um tedious in the process of trying to get this to work so thick potion okay yeah it makes a thick potion i cannot put rotten flesh huh. i am absolutely confuzzled why this is not working what else could I possibly use for a potion of weakness then? Hmm, perhaps some bones. What will putting bone meal or bones in there do? We are experimenting indeed, folks, because I'm trying to figure out how to make a potion of weakness. Now, I know a lot of you people out there watching is just like instantly like, Wow, ONG is officially the biggest noob ever. He doesn't even know how to brew. A freaking potion of weakness, which is absolutely the easiest potion to brew. And I, I will agree, guys, I am a bit of a noob. You can go ahead and go to the comments and be like, oh, gee, you're such a noob. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't understand my problem here. But I, it's experimentation. Brewing, potion, you know, all that's about experimentation and coming up with the right formula and stuff like that. So, uh, let's put a spider eye in there. Okay, that did nothing. Alrighty. Um, oh, a bit of a shocker there. Oh, uh, can I put a bone in there? See, I can't even put bones. Let's go ahead and turn the bone into bone meal. Um, either way, we need some bone meal anyways. No, I cannot do that. So, huh. Well, this is quite intriguing. I'm... I always thought that said you made a potion of weakness. Perhaps I'm doing something very wrong and overlooking a very easy aspect to all this. Huh. Well, I am really disappointed. So, what am I going to do, guys? I'm going to take a brief uh, moment or two. We're going to do a little split cut. I want to see if I can figure out how to make a potion of weakness real quick. If I can, then pff, so be it. This is just absolutely challenging to the freaking extent I never thought it would be. But, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll try to figure this out. Ugh. Well, we are back, everybody. Welcome. Uh, So, apparently... I was totally off by a... L just way off. Apparently, we need a glistering melon. Um, So... Plot twist there. Who would have thought? Uh, not me. Is it dark already? No. Okay, apparently it didn't take me that long. But, uh, yeah. We need a glistering melon. And then we also need a fermented spider eye. Which I did not think we would need all them prime ingredients for this. But, apparently, we absolutely do. Now, I I, I, I guess that's how it's going to work. So, glistering melon is uh, pretty easy to make. All you need to do is kind of like a golden apple. You just need to make uh, get a piece of melon. Which, I don't think we have melon. So, what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. The... Oh, it's so annoying. I'm so done with this. You know what? I gotta I gotta relax. I gotta take, take a breather. It's so annoying right now. Why did they make it so difficult to cure a freaking villager, man? Like, it's so annoying. So, 
I promise you guys, we're going to get around to curing a villager eventually. I just never expected it to be this difficult, honestly. Like, I mean, it's still beneficial that we do have, um, you know, a place to freaking... Uh, oh, and I need to switch over to this. Oh, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. That's absolutely bad. But yeah, we still need a place to brew a lot of potions uh, because we already got a potion of strength from that. So that was beneficial to some degree, I suppose. Uh, we made a potion of strength today, and we will use that definitely in uh, our fight against the end dragon or whatever else we go against, really. Uh, freaking stop misplacing brocks. Freaking no. Get a, oh, well, well, I lost that. Oh, thanks for coming out, everybody. Okay, so yeah. I honestly didn't expect it to be so difficult on console. I don't know if it's the same on PC, but yeah, it's definitely a plot twist there. It's uh, very complex, I suppose, uh, in many different ways. And for Cal, what are you doing, bro? You don't don't move at me like that. That's disrespectful, man. Okay, so yeah, I'm pushing you off in the water. Have a nice swim. Hello, enjoy the water. Squids down there might eat your face, though. You know, it is what it is. Strictly business. Oh come on! I knew that was gonna back backfire on me. Go under the water, bro. Go, go. Freaking noob. You know what? Get out of here. Freaking noob, man. Okay. There we are. We're working on it. It's getting dark. We're going to go to bed real quick. And, uh, you know, it's going to be absolutely dandy. So, yeah, we need to go find melons. How are we going to find melons? Well, we're going to have to find a mine shaft. Now, didn't we find a mine shaft in one of the earlier parts? Hmm. Well, let's see here. We need to figure out. We need to venture forth, go to the mine. I know it's nighttime already, man. You know, we should be able to sleep during the day. Take a nap or something. You know, perhaps past the. Minecraft in-game time by like an hour during the day if you want by taking a nap. I don't know why they don't add that. I mean, it seems like it's a reasonable thing to add. Of course, it could disbalance a lot of things. I don't know. You tell me. But, uh, yeah. So, what we need to do is figure out where that mine shaft was we found in one of the earlier parts. I think we found a mine shaft. Please tell me we did. Honestly, I can't recall. Hmm, there's so, so many places we've been and explored. Actually, no, I think there was a mine shaft over at the Extreme Hill Biome. I'm not going to make any uh, rash decisions so so quickly, but uh, I think that's um, where we found a mine shaft. So in the next one, we may go venture forth back to that mine shaft. I've tried to find a chest in the mine shaft because, well, we're going to need... Let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see. I want to do this. I'm thinking we're going to make it like this. Uh, this should be pretty good, I suppose. I'm losing a lot of wood here. It's going to make me mad. I don't like this. Uh, I want to reach one. So, uh, boom. Take this back and place this like so. Oh, no, that is absolutely wrong, sir. We don't need you uh, freaking... I, that's one thing I, I have a complaint about freaking these logs, man. It's just really... You got to place them perfectly or it just it goes freaking sideways. And then you're just like, what? No, bro, that's not how it's supposed to go. And it gets pretty crazy. But you know what? We're going to make it through it. We're going to get this building going absolute A1. A1 sauce. That's pretty good on steaks. No, no. no. Okay, come freaking no. Uh, okay, it's boom. 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 Dad, then we just got to add some fences, which I thought I had some fences. I do, but I got them up in my chest in the attic there. Absolutely disappointing. So, um, yeah, this is coming along quite nice. I do believe this will be the actually ending stage of the dock. And then we just got to add the fences. Um, and then after the fences are added, we just need to work on the little roof of this area here. And for the most part, this will be a nice looking dock. And then we can get over to Fisherman Island and Mushroom Resort very easily. We still got to work on Mushroom Resort and uh, Fisherman Island. Fisherman Island is going to be absolutely fantastic, guys. I got some awesome ideals for that little island out there. It's basically going to be our island that we can go to fish and have like fishing competitions and stuff like that it's just going to be a grand place for all fishermen and uh hopefully it'll be uh you know it'll be an area where all fishermen come across the world and uh fish with us um i don't know we'll see but uh what's the freaking sheep actually we need to breed these guys a little bit um and i gotta put all this junk why i got two eggs where'd those come from i don't even know perhaps um we will try to brew up some more potions, some potions that we actually can brew up and of uh, some of the forecoming parts. But is anything in here? No, we're going to go ahead and add the eggs. I already got a stack of 16 eggs, which is cool, I guess, if I ever want to make a cake or stuff. And then we have, of course, our mushroom stew. And I don't really eat pork chops. I kind of just keep them stored up. Oh, bone meal. We got to add some uh, nice environmental addition here. So this part has been pretty good. We learned a lot about brewing. And we did do quite a bit of brewing ourselves, which was really beneficial in my eyes. And I'm pretty happy with the outcome of it. So, um, yeah, bang. Now we have some nice grass around here, and it looks really nice. Because this area right here was lacking that for quite some time. And uh, it's slowly coming together. It's going to look better and better. And it's just going to be awesome. So I honestly can't wait. Should we just, you know, for the most part, this wasn't necessarily a cow field. Perhaps we'll bring that sheep in as well so we can have cows and sheep and all that stuff out here. Um, because this has turned into a freaking 
everything farm. I'm gonna redo this eventually. Um, what the heck is that over there? It's a cow. And freaking sheeps. Alright, rare animals everywhere. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna eventually, uh, upgrade all of our stuff. Like, I upgraded the sugar cane farm. If you guys recall, it used to be just plain, and then I did all this epic stuff. And I'm probably gonna do the same to the wheat farm and make it a lot more beneficial to us because... A lot of people stated this, um, I'll take that egg. A lot of people stated this, like, yo, this farm is not good. Uh, you can make it a lot better and more produ like productive, so to say. Oh, I freaking cracked the egg. Um, but yeah, oh, there's another one over there. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to make it a lot more, uh, it's, it's going to work a lot better once I eventually, perhaps I'll make it just, you know what, I may just tear it down, whatever, what are you doing? I may just tear it down and make an automated wheat farm, it's pretty simple to do that. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I do believe we'll sum up this part here, so thank you guys for watching, be sure to hit that like button, and uh, this has been one grand learning part 40, you know, we've been learning quite a bit about brewing and stuff, and if you guys got any tips, and uh, want to help me with brewing, and uh, be like, okay, this is how you make this potion, or make this type of potion. What potion should I make? Because uh, right now, all we have is like a potion of strength, and uh, well, that's about it, I do believe. Uh, which, we're going to put that potion in here. We're going to keep a ton of our potions stored up in here. So, uh, yeah, let me know. And uh, with that being said, what's your favorite potion in Minecraft? That's a question uh, to end this part on. That All you guys can leave a uh, comment below. What is your, like, like, what's your favorite potion in the game? Uh, mine would probably have to be swiftness because it allows you to build faster and all that good stuff but yeah with that being said have a wonderful day and headbutt everybody watches the vids everybody loves the minecraft clips when it comes to the best channel everybody knows what it is <laughs> this channel is the hottest don't agree then file a disclaimer or just join the bandwagon now and subscribe to only one gamer because only one gamer only one gamer, uh, 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 only one gamer, uh, 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 uh,